Hello, welcome to the channel. It's Liz, also known as the girl with blue eyeshadow. For today's video, oop, let me get a bunch of noise. Okay, hold on, let's readjust. For today's video, we are going to be doing a like update of products I picked up um, Black Friday of last year, so in 2020. Kind of what do I think of them now? Do I still like them? What are we feeling? Stuff like that. Um, so if that sounds interesting to you, keep on watching. So I found my video, which was like one of my first videos I, you know, filmed about what I picked up at like the Black Friday haul. Like what did I end up getting? I'm trying to see if I did one of like stuff I got for Christmas. I don't think I did. Okay. But I saw Tara, Tara Brooke, Tara Brooke, is it Tara Brooke? Yes. Tara Brooke did this video and I thought I could do this video as well. I thought it was fun. So again, thank you to Tara. So for to first things first, let's start out, I guess, with skincare. That's what I did in the video. So this is the Crave Beauty Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser. I think in that video, I mentioned that I heard about this online uh, from a bunch of like skincare creators and I kind of always wanted to try it, but I never did, but then they had a sale. And so I picked this up. This is like the same one I bought last year. Uh, for a while, I only used it at night, and now I kind of just use it in the morning. It's almost, it's pretty much empty. Like, there's nothing in here. It's, like, right here. Yeah, that's all that's left. Um, I really like this. I, again, I used it mostly at night, and then I use another cleanser, a lighter cleanser in the morning. I find that this works fine in the morning as well, because that's what I do now. Uh, I like it so much that I ordered another one. Um, from their website and I also wanted to try their exfoliant. So I'm also going to be getting that soon So hopefully I'll be able to like update you on like what how the exfoliant is But I really like this. It's kind of expensive because you do have to pay for shipping and stuff But you can get it on the sale which really only happens like once maybe twice a year. I think it's worth it I like the whole brand and everything so I'm still satisfied. I still have it. I still like it Um, what else is next? um this Kosas Tinted uh, Face Oil. This is probably one of the like the best out of this haul, maybe. Um, I really like this face oil. I think in the video when I was um, rewatching it, I said I got it in four, and I'm actually a three. And I really like, I'm happy with this. This is what I have on my face right now. I really like it. It kind of, I've never tried the Glossier Skin Tint or Skin Veil or whatever it's called. Um, but I've been told that this is somewhat similar, only this has actual pigment. I would say this does give you like a slight tint, a slight, you know, like a little something something. While I think the Glossier one isn't going to give you something. I like the light coverage of this. I like how liquidy it is. I think I got this on recommendation from Smoky Blue and she'll be coming up again. Um, big fan. I'm really happy. This is like one of my favorite like base products for like foundation. But you know, you know what I'm saying? Like it's like a skin tint. You know, they're the like, same thing in my head. I'm um, really happy with this. So happy that I even bought more from Kosas. I have two of their concealers. This concealer is bomb. And I also have this duo. The duo, I think you can pass on. I feel like there's better cream products on the market, but this is cute. I like her. Um, so yeah, really happy with this purchase. Another one I also got, this is, I'll talk about these two actually together. So this is the Tarte Tinted Hydrator and the shade Light Sand, and then this is the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes. Both of these products are in retirement, and if you don't know what my retirement, what I mean by that, um, one, there's a video I made about it, so hopefully that's up. I don't know when things are going up. Oh, happy Vlogmas, I forgot to mention that. Hey, hopefully this is going up on time and on schedule. Who knows? Ah, I'm overwhelmed. Anyway, um, Just Peachy Mattes and this one are both in retirement. And again, when I mean retirement, the whole point of it was like stuff I'm not ready to declutter. But I'm like, how will this be if this was out of my collection? Will I miss it? Will I be drawn to it? Maybe I won't even get out and rid of this stuff because of sentimental reasons. I think I mentioned in that other video that I really coveted after this palette, so I was happy to get it. The smell reminds me of an old Too Faced product, the foundation, which I used to wear when I was abroad. And I hold it like a certain memory that comes with it. This one, I'm not 100% sure how much I like. I don't love the consistency. It's a very thick consistency. And I think the shade, while it is a tinted 
like moisturizer. Um, the, the shade just looks a little orangey on me. So I just feel like I have an orangey kind of undertone when I want like a more yellow one, if that makes sense. Um, and I don't love how thick it is. I prefer something more a liquidy like this, but this is fine. Um, I'm trying to see if I miss it or not. If I do, maybe it'll come back. Maybe I just, I don't know. It just kind of depends. I think I've come to the conclusion through my like face, favorite type of base stuff that I prefer something a little more liquidy. So like this and MAC Face Body are some of my favorites. The LYS one, the Serum Foundation. I find that liquidy found, I just enjoy that texture more. That's just me though. Um, but yeah, so currently these are in retirement, but hopefully, maybe they'll come back, we don't know, but I just want to get, they're not bad. I wouldn't say they're bad. I don't think you can get this one anymore, but you know what? I'm glad I got it when, before it went out of stock. You know, that's just me. Um, but yeah, those are those two. Next up, oh my God, my list went away. Face, what else is a complexion product? We will move on to gifts. So I think I have two gifts. Um, these are two gifts that someone, I told them about the sale and they picked it up for me. So again, very happy. I probably, you've probably mentioned this before, but I haven't mentioned this one. These came from the two friends, the same friend. This is the Cloud Paint by Glossier and Spark. And this is the Van Gogh Musée palette, but now they go by Kalav, Kalav, C-A-I-L-A-V. K-Love, K-Love maybe, K-Love, I'm not sure. I'm still confused how you pronounce it. Um, again, I'm a big fan of this palette. I still use it time to time. I think for an indie brand, if you were just wanting to maybe dip your toes, you were a little intimidated by the sparkle and everything, this is a nice way to like step into it because I feel like it's a very, it's not neutral, but I wouldn't say it's colorful. I wouldn't say this is neutral. I would say it's pretty colorful. Um, and I love like the little color story, the inspo and everything. I just think it's very cute. Very, still happy with this product. Um, Spark, I'm still happy with this product. I do like this formula. I know some people don't. I don't know if I, I like the color. I don't know if the color likes me though, but I do use this from time to time. How I apply this, and I think I've said it before, is I squeeze and then I let it go back down and then I like tap that. I know that's not the most hygienic way. I understand why some people wouldn't want to do that, especially if you're a working makeup artist, but I find that if you don't want to put it like on a palette or anything, try it that way. That's just me. I find blending it out with most liquid blushes with a, not a sponge, a brush for some reason helps it more. I know you would think a sponge would like get rid of some of the product, but I don't know. I feel like the sponge doesn't do that, but the brush does. I get rid of it, but you know, like, mm, you know, thin it out a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? So those are my thoughts on those two. What is next? What is next? What is next? Okay, we will go complexion. We'll get what, what we got this whole little haul right here. So I did like a whole little, I don't know if I bought these separately or all together. I can't remember, but I got for Maya's Cosmetics, I have the Queremos Pastel Cake Liners. I have the Dawn Face Palette with, um, Neon and UA, and then I have the Smoky Glow palette by, well, the Smoky Glow palette was Maya's Cosmetics. This is what the palette looks like. I like this palette. Every time I use it, I'm like, oh, I should use this more. And I never found myself totally reaching for it. I think one of the problems is, is that I'm trying, I was trying to pan the Modern Renaissance, and I feel like they share those, like, kind of rosy cranberry shades, so I was, like, less drawn to, like, reach for this palette over the other palette but hopefully once i think we're gonna have to like permanently retire Red modern renaissance it's very old most of it is panned maybe i can try to really get it i don't know but like this is cute she's not going anywhere i like her um i have found that the, the the setup of this is just not my favorite i've debated and i think i've mentioned this in videos before maybe i'll show them um maybe changing popping the shadows out but I don't think that's going to work because I don't think they're, I might be able to get them out because I know one is loose in there, but I find that if you mess up a mat, it's hard for me, it's hard to repress a mat over a shimmer. I feel like you can kind of get a shimmer to repress, but mats I find are very hard for me to, and to get the formula kind of the same, it doesn't work the same for me at least. 
Um, I also picked up the Dawn palette. The Dawn palette, I think, was just too light for me. I liked the blush. I liked the bronzer. I'm just not a big fan of this highlighter formula. Um, and the contour, I just like, mm, I didn't love. But they did have another sale, and I picked up Noon, and I do like Noon a little bit more. Again, not the biggest fan of this highlighter. I find it kind of hard to pick up on my brush, but the rest of this I do really enjoy. And again, I love the little like ethos and backstory with this. It's just like a face palette for everyone, and I really like that. So this one might just get rehomed. I've thought about taking out, because I like the blush, I've thought about taking out the blush and putting it in this one and taking out the highlighter and putting it in this one. But I find that might be hard to like re-gift to someone, like who maybe someone's not gonna want two highlighters. Um, so this might just be get rehomed to someone if I can find someone who likes it. Um, again, really like this one. Like I liked it enough to get and try out the other one. <laughs> the Queremos Pastel Palette is, oh, I like it. But I think I found, I'm just not a liner girl. I tried doing graphic liner. I'll maybe show you like the couple examples of what I did. I don't know. I don't know if it's, maybe it's just not for me. But I do like having this in my collection just in case I wanted to do something kind of fun and crazy. At least I have this. I thought about buying the other one because I'm like, oh, maybe I'll use those colors more. But I think I have to admit to myself that maybe graphic liner is not my thing. I don't know how people, they just, they do it so nice. Rocio, oh, what is her name? Rocio Cervantes? I think her name is Cervantes? Cervantes. Cervantes. I think that's her name. Oh, it's just the best. She's the queen of graphic liner. Um, cut creaser. They always look so good. They're always like, no, hooded eyes can do it. And I'm like, girlies, I don't think they can. <laughs> maybe I just don't have the skill. I think I've tried, but maybe I'll try some more next year. But who knows? So yes, happy with this um, for what it is. You know, it's, 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 I don't use it daily, but it's nice to have in the collection. You know what I'm saying? Another eyeshadow palette. Hold on, let's do a little thing of grape juice. Sorry, I'm talking a lot. Ah. This Dose of Colors Cutting Edge Palette I think was my favorite palette of last year. Just because I feel like I was not into greens for the longest time. I didn't like the tones in the Just My Luck palette. I felt like they didn't really look great on me. But these grungier greens and this quality I feel like is really good, really nice. I love using it. There was a hot minute where I had to like stop myself from using it. I did, I don't think the formula in these like little ones is the most consistent because I do have the smoky soiree and while the black and the burgundy color in those are nice, it's in retirement because she might be getting decluttered. She, mm, I don't know about her. She's not as for sure as the other ones I talked about. The black is great, the burgundy is great, but the two shimmers are not good and that brown is horrendous. I cannot get that to work. <laughs> But this palette is delightful, wonderful. Would highly recommend. I feel like you can kind of be bold, you can kind of be muted. She's cute, I like the size, I like the soft matte, you know, all that. Um, so yes, cute, love her. And then, is this the last one? I think this is the last thing I picked up. I picked up the gloss, or not the glossy, oh, another dose of colors. I got their liquid lipsticks, I got brick and I got cork. Both of which, I like the colors. The formula, I think, I don't know if I've mentioned if the video's up yet. I think this formula's a little overhyped. Uh, I think people made it, like, they kind of made it sound like this was magic. I don't know. Like, that it wouldn't transfer and that it wouldn't dry out your lips. I still find that this can be a little dry and I still find that it transfers. But, like, if I wear this with a mask, it's still gonna kind of get all over the place. In my opinion, I don't know. I won't get all over the place, but it's not transfer proof. I wouldn't say that. Um, but I wouldn't say it's like those NYX suede ones that were just like a liquid lipstick, but it was really just a satin, you know, if that makes sense. Um, they're they're cute. I like them. I don't, I'm just like, mm, the, the formula was like, y'all did a lot with that. But did I still pick up the, uh, I still picked up the Nima Tang one because I wanted to try this really dark brown because I like darker browns. And I really like the formula. Again, it's similar to this one, but I like it. I really like, you know what? This, not this one. This is cool. This is cute. I want to try this. I never wear this. Ah, uh, I tie. It's very pigmented. I should have put the lipstick on first. Whoopsies. 
this lipstick is very, very cute. What is this called? I don't even think they sell it anymore. It's called Penny. It is really cute. I'm a big fan. Mm, I should have put a lip liner on her with that lip gloss. Mm. <laughs> okay, sorry. But am I angry? No. Like, I'm pretty satisfied. So, yes. Those are what I picked up. Let me rank what I'm, like, the happiest with. I'm going to exclude the gifts because those were gifts, you know? Because, um, of course, those go number one. But if I had to do this, three, two, one. That's how I'd rank it. So, uh, thank you for watching. Do you still use your Black Friday products that you got last year? Let me know what you picked up and you're super happy with. Um, hopefully, there'll be like a Black Friday, like what I've picked up, coming up soon. Again, we're filming in November right now, so I don't know what's really going on. Um, and when stuff is gonna come in. <laughs> I also ordered stuff that my mom's gonna give me, but I ordered it, so there's like, I have to make sure I don't get those confused. But, again, thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Happy Vlogmas, and thanks! Bye!